Well, tonight we're going to be embarking on our third STEM family night at the American Baccalaureate School, where we'll be gathering together lots of families to have exciting and interesting, stimulating STEM-based activities where the students and their families will collaborate to solve problems, meet challenges, build things, and create all kinds of fantastic things. It helps them to understand that when they're at school, what are they learning? Um, what future careers might they have and how can they help solve world problems. This really links the work that they're doing in the classroom to the work that they'll do in the outside world. And we have lots of activities going on for parents as well as, as, well as our students. There are six different activities, some having to do with technology. We have robots, we have coding. In one of the activities they're doing a spaghetti um, bridge challenge and they have to use only rubber bands and spaghetti. And so at first parents think they go in there and there's nothing they can do, but seeing the parents and the kids come up with creative ideas is pretty fascinating. We also have a balloon car challenge where parents and students have to build a car using the air from the balloon. And that's been interesting to see how far um, the cars can go. We're actually also sharing about our Chromebooks um, and the Chromebooks that we have here at school as well as 3D printing and coding. We are also talking about or using um, NeoFluid, which is um, cornstarch and water and when you move those two together it becomes a solid but once you stop it becomes a liquid. It's been a real pleasure and privilege because I've been lucky enough to be involved with the American Baccalaureate School now for 18 months. This is my third visit and Discovery Education really value the partnership that we have with ABS and the way that they're looking to enhance the use of STEM both for the students here and into the wider community and we're really excited to be part of that journey. Thank <laughs> you.